Good morning lovelies, Zoe 2.2 .2 with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you and today we're going to jump in and have a look at the new AR photo update, the new photo mode in Pokemon Go. At the moment it appears this update is only available in Australia, it's kind of like I'm guessing the beta test group and from my early testing it unfortunately seems they haven't actually like you know fixed AR with you know placing the Pokemon being easier or you know functional at least on Android. I know that's always been a thing where iPhone just functions a lot better for AR and AR photos. So if you're on iPhone hopefully this is going to be working buttery smooth for you. I did bring the backup phone just in case this doesn't work. Additional hot tip before we jump into this because I have got a Samsung phone you can actually download Pokemon Go through the Galaxy Store and the Google Play Store. Um, and I have both versions of the app on my phone. Make sure you're not logged into both at the same time because it can get weird with your adventure sync and stuff, like it just doesn't work. But sometimes I do alternate between the two apps. Sometimes one works better for events, sometimes one works better for photos. Different updates behave differently. If you do have a Samsung phone, that might be, you know, you might want to look into trying out either version of the app because one might actually work a lot better for you than the other. So we're gonna start off here. I've got a freshly caught Wiglet, first ever Wiglet, and you know, it is, is you know, 22 sleep, it's a pretty, it's a pretty small Wiglet. I've got a pretty small Wiglet, but you know what? I think it's just grand. We're gonna go into AR mode and looking slowly around on the ground, hopefully this behaves a bit better than, there we go. So with the new update, you can touch the feet like previously, just touch the yellow feet and the Pokemon will jump out, or you can kind of use this drag and drop method to, that's a bit better in this open space, place the Pokemon where you'd like. Whoop. Oh, hello. Hello there, Wiglet. Not that small after all. So I was having a lot of trouble when I was just doing these single photo modes because now with the new AR photo mode, you can have up to three of your own Pokemon in the one photo rather than having to do the, you know, the group photos, which I don't think are a thing anymore. I think they've actually fully taken that out of the game. You used to have to use yourself and an extra friend or two extra friends to take a photo of three Pokemon. But you can actually add two of your own Pokemon now. And I was really struggling, like, how do I add extra guys? Like, what button? You know, it's not that button. It's a whole different method. So if you select your buddy or if you select a Pokemon from your storage, it's not going to work for the multi-shot option. But while we're here, I'll just show you a couple of the basics. So we have got a button down here to rotate. So get rotated. Wiglet. You can basically just swirl your Pokemon around and hold this uh, kind of like treating that little circle around it as a 3D space uh, and dragging and dropping, you know, this little this little wand. Look at the wand, darling. Look at smile for the camera. Uh, and rotate, which is, again, beautiful. Super convenient instead of having to actually walk around the Pokemon, which you can, I think, still do if you do like the brushing them up and down technique. Yep. So old AR, you had to walk around the Pokemon, give it a little brush up and down, and it would rotate to face you. Hello, Seagull. How you doing, mate? Work it, baby, work it. So rotate a lot better. This little smiley face button is going to give you one of its alternate animations. So we finally got some of the alternate animations back, which when AR first dropped, your buddy would have multiple animations for tapping on them or like a happy animation. If you tapped on it, instead of just their attack animation, um, sometimes you have to wait and wait and wait for them to do a third animation. But we now have the option to either tap that little smiley face and look at, oh, what a happy little guy. Or we can tap on the body of the Pokemon and it will give its attack animation. So thankfully two funky fresh new animations. And then this button below the smiley face with the three Pokemon. Basically when you have got three Pokemon all at once, if you press that it's going to make them all face you. And if you take the photo it's going to make them all animate at the same time. and take three photos throughout. I'm going to turn my volume down. So thankfully, I mean, the AR seems to be working a bit better for me today. Um, unfortunately, at home, it was just doing the whole like drifting all over the place and I'm going to float off into infinity. If you want to watch my um, Bellsprout Com Day video for a quick clip there. But let's jump into uh, the multi, the multi mode. So what we're going to want to do to actually take a photo of multiple Pokemon at once is go into your item, scroll down until you find your camera, the actual, you know, in-game camera item. It's been in our bag since the dawn of time. Click on the camera and that's where this whole new menu is. Now there's going to be some pre-selected pre suggestions here as well. We've got a suggestion, take a photo of some Kanto Pokemon, some picture perfect, little, little tiny guys, pink pals, splish splash, I was uh, playing with some water Pokemon, Hisuian Pokemon, Safari, I want to say I see a different, I see a different suggestion every single time I come in here, um, which is pretty cute. It's like a nice little, you know, little fossils. The nice little like hey did you think about putting these guys together so if we're going to select pokemon i have actually tagged a few things with i just named the, like the tag for them photo you can search for tagged pokemon so if you have like your your best buddies or you know your favorite you know pokemon that you want to you've got a certain tag for you can search that uh, because i have found that searching all three individually 
gets a bit like gets a bit annoying for our first one let's get a bunch of blue lads and what we're going to do is i'm going to pick one of the pokemon that is also a flying pokemon so the venomoth should be considered as a flying pokemon because its default is um, up in the air uh, things like pidgey sadly they are even though they are a flying type their model is standing on the ground but venomoth is flying in the air so there is now a new kind of setup for flying pokemon as well let's go so, as you can see here, when I'm trying to place the Venomoth, it's giving me a line off this blue ring. So this blue ring is basically saying, here's where the ground is, and the line ascending into the air is where you can place, you know, how high do you want your Venomoth to be in the air? So let's go, let's go, oh my god, come back, <laughs> pretty high up for Venomoth. Uh, we'll chuck Rockruff down, we'll chuck Corsola down, he's getting quite bright now. Oh no, Corsola, come back. Boop. Oof, that is quite a... Uh, Quite an elongated photo there, but you get the you get the idea. We can tap on them, you know, one after the other to get them to do their little attack animations. If we tap on the smiley face, they're all going to do their little happy animations. Seagull, bonus, fourth Pokemon. Come back. Uh. We could rotate these guys so that they're facing each other. So you tap on them uh, individually. Look at that, it's so much easier to get them to line up. Oh my god. You got to face down for a duel and Venomoth's going to commentate, you know? And now if I want to exit out of that, if I wanted to press on the little like return ball down in the corner, I can get Venomoth here and basically get Venomoth back in the ball. I think it's too far away. It's too high up in the sky. I would like to place Venomoth on the ground. I can place it, you know, so it's floating. Still in its flying animation, but it's on the ground with its friends. Maybe I want it a little bit. I want it a little bit in the sky. So we're going to pop it up. Just to, uh, somehow seems further away. It's you get the idea. You're, you're putting how like high up above everything in the action it's going to be. And let's say I want I want Venomoth to be kind of spectating here a little bit. Rotate you a little bit, a little bit more. Cute. Okay. And one photo. Happy faces, everyone. Everyone's having a great time at the beach. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm shooting kind of blind here because it is so bright and glary today. Oh, and okay, they seem to be doing the Tokyo Drift now. I got too close. Oh, that's cute. I will say like kind of like the one really fiddly thing, like I wish the camera button was now at the top of the menu because you do have to go a fair ways in. I know it's pretty minor, um, but it is kind of silly now that it is its own menu, that it is so separated and you can't access it just through you know, taking a photo of a regular Pokemon so it's kind of tucked away. I didn't even realize that this was here until like several hours after. I'm like where would they put it? If they were being if they were being you know not so big brain where would you put this whole other menu that I've seen someone have? I also wanted to check as well so we've got a, a extra extra small shellos and an extra extra large shellos. I wanted to see if the actual you know size differences show up in photos because they should as your buddies they show up as you know different sizes. So let's see. Okay we've got our floor. I'm gonna try and put them as close together as possible. Forbidden. Oh, yes, they are. Look at them. Or are they? Are they not? Hold on. Maybe it's just perspective. Uh, what do you guys reckon? Is that a size difference? Sadly, they are kind of rotating whenever I move. So let's see if we can get you to... So it's going to give you a little red circle if it's in somewhere that's, that's, that can't be placed. Try and get them as close together as I can. I think so. <laughs> I think, I think, yes. I think this is as close together as I can get them and it does appear, nah, that they've got the, uh, the extra small and the extra large. Might be more obvious in a Pokemon that's like massive to, um, to see the scale and maybe on a bit more flat terrain than like a sandy beach. But hey, that's pretty cute. I'm honestly super excited for this feature in a lot of ways. I hope that with like, future updates and stuff, it does smooth out a little bit because again, taking photos at home was just a nightmare. Um, I'm really thankful that it's like functioning here at the moment and they're not just drifting all over the place or floating off entirely into, into outer space. But I feel like the AR community is such a dedicated community. You guys take some phenomenal, amazing photos and I feel like there's just going to be some really creative, you know, creative photos made with people that, you know, previously weren't able to do anything like this because you needed other friends and the system was really clunky and all sorts of things. Let's see, let's get the two Oricorio that I've got here. And I will say that the one sad thing is one of these Oreo Choreo is going to get left out. Which one do we want, Bailey or Sensu? Mm -hmm. 
so cutie. Look at their little happy faces. Oh, they drift. Oh, you see that? They were drifting a little bit. Let me try now before they drift off into the distance. Uh, let's go the... I'm going to press the button here that has the three Pokemon on it, the, the Turtwig button, let's call it. Um, and it should be giving us a rapid shot of three photos and their happy animation. So, three, two, one. Boom, boom, boom. Cute. So, so just to compare for you guys, here is Sensu's like attack animation. And then there's like, you know, the happy animation, which is, I think is great. I think it's great that there's going to be these options now. People don't have to just have, you know, angry attack looking Pokemon. They can actually be happy little babies, which is great. Look at these little sweethearts. All right, I'm going to take a bunch of photos for you guys uh, and we'll see how they turn out. You guys can rate them one through 10, vote for your favorite in the comments sort of thing. So give me a second to muck around, see if there's anything that I'm kind of missing here and I uh, will be right back. I may have already encountered a bit of an issue. I'm just trying to actually place a large Pokemon like Guzzlord and it's just giving me the red feet, like the red circle, no matter where I try to place it. Even if I try to like place it further away or just tap on, like just let me place it and I'll walk further away or something. But I've been backing up and just trying to get it to work. So, I mean, unless this is just, I can't put these two Pokemon together, I wouldn't know why. I don't know why they wouldn't let me, you know, photograph those two. So, okay, Wiglet can, Wiglet's fine. But why can't I, um, let me see. Maybe this will work now that he's out. Like, how much space do I need for a Guzzlord? I just want, you know, two, two white Pokemon. There's, you know, good, nice, shiny, you know? Like, could I get any further away? Huh, well... That's unfortunate, but they really enjoy, you know, a nice trip to the beach. Another minor issue I found, um, I was in the, the little, the Turtwig button, taking a multi-photo, uh, and then I moved because I was like, oh, I need to exit out of the multi-photo window, and now, and now my, my little guys are in space. It's kind of like locked into place, which, I mean, technically a bug, but could be actually really beneficial if you're struggling with getting things like a, a shot lined up nicely of where you want them to be oh no they figured it out I oh, know uh -huh. um could actually work in your favor like if I wanted to get them on the on the log over here maybe but I was having trouble getting it to line up <laughs> you know they're kind of accidentally locked in place uh it does seem to be bugging out a little bit now but let's see oh. you can still press the animate button and they and they still dance around and have a happy little dance Except that everything is out of focus. Oh, there they go. They're gone forever. It was nice while it lasted. One last one. I've been, always been, this has been a photo I've wanted to take for like ever. And it's been impossible in like the buddy, like the group, you and your friends AR mode. Because it's just like impossible to get them to line up right. But maybe, just maybe. And that, oh geez, that's not gonna. I basically want to line it up so that Caterpie is so far in the foreground that it looks like it's wearing Snorlax's cowboy hat in the in the background because cowboy hat Caterpie when I'll try I'll see what I can get to work maybe if I'm in an environment that isn't as glary and I can actually see the screen maybe if I get this to work but it does seem to be like a furthest distance that you can put the Pokemon so you can't put them super far away sadly so for now we just have to settle with you know Snorlax here excitedly excitingly wanting to give Caterpie their hat which honestly, this animation for Snorlax is so cute. He like actually does the little sit down scoot on his butt as his happy animation. I feel like there's just gonna be so many cool animations we maybe haven't seen in the game at all. You know, once the AR community starts digging into this and like seeing, you know, taking all these AR photos, like there might be some really cool combinations of Pokemon. Like is there anyone else that sits down like this besides Snorlax to take a photo of two little cuties sitting together? Where can you put your Snorlax? Like sitting on a little chair, sitting on like a, a bench somewhere. I don't know, but I'm curious to see what comes out of this. Here's a couple of photos that I have snapped uh, during this little sesh. Let me know which one's your favorite. Do you have a particular combination of Pokemon that you want to photograph? Are you, have you like never been into AR, but this is maybe intriguing you? All those sorts of things. Let me know down in the comments below. I think there's gonna be some really cool pairings that people can find here. So let me know which two would you or three would you put together. And last thing as well, when you are done with your photo session, you can go through your photos and you can actually add stickers to them now. So uh, that is, you know, a new thing that we can do. Uh, it does it does consume the sticker if you do save the photo so keep that in mind um, even though you know you're not sending the photo the sticker to someone it does consume the sticker but you can you know zoom them in and out uh, place them wherever you want you know if you don't like that one cancel it chuck that one down chuck that one down you know 
you could do whatever you want. I think this would be really cool if they had, um, you know, you know, they're, they're kind of is event based stickers, I guess, you know, the stickers that say, you know, go to LA and have like the location. It would actually look like more of a postcard. And I think it would be really cool in that way as well to be a bit more immersive and actually look like a, hey, I was, you know, Hawaii Worlds, you know, travel stamp sticker or, you know, being able to have regional stickers in the game. That's always, that's been a thing I've suggested for forever. But, you know, I could send you guys a Kangaskhan sticker on a gift because I'm in Australia and I've got Kangaskhan and I can spin a stop and I can get Kangaskhan stickers or whatever. But then, so, you know, if you took a cool AR photo and you were in Australia and you could use your Kangaskhan sticker and your Australia, you know, it says Australia on it, or you could have a, you know, a, a sticker that has the location tag or something like that, that'd be kind of cool and it would actually make more sense for using and consuming the sticker because you're going to save it as a postcard, that sort of thing. But um, yeah, just so you know, that is also a feature. <clears throat> don't save you're not taking my stickers today again let me know in the comments down below do you care about this feature do you like it has it got you slightly intrigued i will say it's functioning a lot smoother today than the first day that i tried to use it so big thumbs up there's still plenty of bugs but i'm sure you know at this stage what, what else would we expect bit of a health update for you guys as well i'm still not feeling funky fresh and perfect but hey we're getting there uh the lungs aren't back to full capacity but i'm not you know uh sleeping 18 hours a day and I don't have a crazy high fever anymore which is great so fingers crossed we'll be back at it in no time I am getting out of breath and I've only been out here for like 30 minutes though so that is that's something but hey we'll get there as always lovelies thank you so so much for watching if you are new please be sure to subscribe thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well and if you'd like additional ways to support the channel links for patreon and the merch are in the description down below I hope you're having a wonderful wonderful morning noon night whatever time it is for you and I'll catch you guys in the next one Bye.